Boy, have I got a story for you guys. I, I have covered some wild stories on this channel uh, when it comes to scams and influencers and, and things like that. Um, I, I was, you know, the first person on YouTube to cover the uh, iMarkets Live scam. One of the first people to cover the Big Connect scam. Uh, I was the first person on YouTube to expose the Wonderland Time, uh, Wonderland Time, excuse me, scam. Um, this one right here might be the the, the wildest story that I've covered. And you'll see at the end, You make sure you watch to the end. A lot of y'all not watching these videos to the end, right? Um, it, it's, it's gonna prove the things that I've been saying over the past few months about what's coming. It's not even coming, it's here, right? All right, so let's get into it. it here's the headline. <laughs> the, he the headline ain't nothing, okay? Let me tell y'all. Here's the headline. German authorities move 24 million in Bitcoin amid market decline. Pay attention, okay? In a significant development, the German Federal Criminal Police Office transferred 400 Bitcoin. Listen to this now. Valued at approximately 24.34 million to Coinbase and Kraken on Tuesday morning. First of all, I thought Kraken was out of business. I thought Kraken was on their way out. According to reports from Arkham Intelligence, additionally, 500 Bitcoin worth about 30 million was moved to an untagged address labeled whatever that is. This, acti this activity occurs against the backdrop of Bitcoin's recent price slump with the cryptocurrency uh, down over 10% on the monthly chart and 3.95% over the past week. My mic is in the way of the screen, y'all, so that's why I can't see. Market sentiment has shifted from extreme greed to fear within just a week as indicated by the fear and greed index. Okay, so here's Arkham, who I've never heard of, uh, saying that uh, in the past two hours, the German government has moved 400 Bitcoin to exchange deposits at Kraken and Coinbase. They also moved 500 Bitcoin. Okay, so it's just, you know, this story is just reporting on, on you know, what Arkham said, okay? The decline in Bitcoin's price is influenced by several factors, notably an announcement from the defunct exchange Mt. Gox has exas exacerbated market jitters. The exchange plans to distribute $9 billion in Bitcoin and Bitcoin cash repayments in July, adding to the market selling pressure. Despite this, the 24 million Bitcoin sales relatively small in comparison to the $40 billion worth of Bitcoin that changed hands over the past 24 hours as per coin gecko data uh on platforms like binance liquidity is robust yeah 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 all right let's get to the meaty meat the german federal criminal police officer office's recent activity i don't know what's wrong with me today is part of a broader context involving the massive here we go here we go seizure of almost 50,000 Bitcoin from the operators of Movie2K.to, a film piracy website, active pay attention until 2013. A film piracy website, <laughs> active until 2013. Pay attention. This seizure value at over 2 billion at the time 
remains the largest of its kind in Germany currently. Currently, the German government's wallet holds 46,359 Bitcoin worth approximately 2.8 billion. And 99% of it they got from this film piracy site. Here we go. Movie 2K. Now watch this now. They 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 they're saying that they sold illegal movies. I found some information that said that they didn't sell anything, but this is this report, right? More than 880,000 pirated films between 2008 <laughs> 2008 what's significant about 2008 y'all what's significant about 2008 bitcoin bitcoin wasn't even created yet in 2008 and they were shut down in 2013. All right, now watch this now. Movie 2K was shut down in 2013. In May 2013, Movie 4K came out. <laughs> so y'all shut down Movie 2K. The same people created movie 4k and if you read this i'm not going to go through this whole thing because i got a lot to get through they were never movie 4k and movie 2k was based in romania they were never ever based in germany it was essentially a search site for people to post their links these dudes actually did an AMA 11 years ago on Reddit. And this person said, Movie 2K was the reason why I never paid for cable. <laughs> I never heard of this. Right? I had never heard of this. 880,000 films. All right, now let's put this in perspective. Because it's about to get really good. If people had paid full price for these 880,000 movies... That would have been about, at $10 each, that would have been $8 million. At $20 each, that would have been $16 million if they paid for everything, right? One of the guys voluntarily gave them $24 million. No court, no nothing. Here you go. Now, here's the thing. The, the people that ran this, as far as I understand, people didn't pay with Bitcoin. There wasn't 880,000 film worth of Bitcoin adoption in 2010, 11, 12. It wasn't. People paid with cash and they then smartly decided to convert that cash into Bitcoin. In November 2019... November 2019, Movie 2K operator and programmer was arrested. He confessed to earning over 22,000 Bitcoins worth more than 25 million euros through advertising and subscriptions. These funds were voluntarily surrendered as restitution. Restitution to who? The <laughs> <laughs> the people came in and if you saw a movie, you didn't pay no money or, you know, you paid a little bit of money. What you going to give people they, they two dollars back for the movie? Like what? What restitution? In January 2024. They took more Bitcoin from this person. Two point one billion worth. Here it is right there. The Ger this is Arkham. The German Federal Criminal Police Office seized almost 50,000 Bitcoin. 
I just read for you that the guy willingly gave up 22000 That wasn't enough for them. They wanted to come back while Bitcoin was pumping and get 50000 Now, I don't know if, the, if it's 28 plus 22 or if it's 50 plus 22. I don't know. But this junk was back in 2013 and they started in 2008 and Bitcoin wasn't even around. They took the stuff in January 2024. They said, hey, we're going to, you know, the court's got to decide, right? We can't just take this money. The court's got to decide. Bro, here we are in May and June. They've been selling. They've been selling heaps of it. Germany used to be one of those areas that didn't like Bitcoin. They hated on Bitcoin. They thought it was a scam. They thought it was a fraud, just like the UK and other areas. Now, Germany, just within the past year, they've started to allow Bitcoin as part of their um, uh, pension and things like that. It's coming. So they have been buying. But in order for you to do this the right way for a country you would need to buy substantial amounts of Bitcoin. Why do that when you can just steal it? Let me put this in perspective, y'all. They went after Binance, which they say Binance allowed money laundering. They didn't do any money laundering. They allowed. How do you? It, that's crypto. Binance cannot watch everybody's, you know, account. So money laundering was going on. This is Binance, the biggest exchange in crypto. And they find CZ four billion, which was too much, way too much. He didn't do anything and they put him in jail. This little movie site. They took two billion from them. Binance four billion illegal movies, two billion. They, this is what these organizations do. Like, do y'all know how much $2 billion is? There are countries whose GDP don't equal $2 billion. There are countries that are in debt like a billion dollars and, and could use this. To say that this is restitution, restitution to who? Restitution to their own pockets. Now they're sitting on 43,000 Bitcoin. And they're jeeting it. <laughs> they're jeeting it. And I'm sure this Bitcoin is going to end up in the hands of whoever they want to manage to whatever. Now they got a bunch of Bitcoin, just like the United States government, who stole from Silk Road. In fact, was I reading that on here? Silk Road was $214 million. That is one, like That is part of the story of Bitcoin. Silk Road. Thought I had that up. Okay. 214 million. This is 2 billion. Silk Road had way more influence than these guys. They never believed in Bitcoin in the beginning. But now that it's successful, these governments will take it from, they will just take, I, I reported before. In the UK, they're just taking your Bitcoin. They, they're going into houses for weed, find no weed, come out with Bitcoin. They're pulling people over for traffic violations, taking Bitcoin. Like, why would you willingly give this up? Go through the court process. Go through the process. Let a judge decide. You don't just willingly give up 22,000 Bitcoin, bro. This is madness. And they're still doing it. According to this person, I don't know if they're, they're regurgitating old news or I don't know if this is more recent. But as of 
Five hours ago, they're saying, hey, here it is. Oh, no, this is 20. This is 20. I, I read something from five hours ago. Now this is 28 minutes ago. The, the German government just transferred another 750 Bitcoin. The beautiful thing about it is this is all on chain. You cannot hide. But they're, dude, they're just cheating Bitcoin right now. I just read five hours ago that they had transferred some more. So they're just trying and they're doing this through Bitstamp and Kraken and Coinbase. How is it that they're allowed to do this when other people who are caught in alleged schemes, they'll just shut their stuff down? Oh, but oh, oh y'all took some stuff from somebody. They're not even based in Germany. They're based in Romania, according to Wikipedia. Again, this is, I can only go by the information that's here, y'all. I told y'all before that big government, big hedge funds, they don't miss out on, like you say, oh, you missed the boat. They all hated on Bitcoin early. When they missed the boat, they bring the boat back. Which leads me to, first of all, I got to show y'all this. I don't know if it'll come up again since this refreshes. Okay, so here, here we go. This is the 100 coin account on CoinMarketCap. Now, I was looking up this Bitcoin stuff and I saw this. 75,000 views. That they got on Coin Market Cap, seventy-five thousand views, over a hundred likes and interactions. Like this is this is one of the top viewed accounts over the last twenty-four hours. That one just came out. So here's two hours ago, seventeen k. Here's a big account, sixty-two k. 232, here's the biggest, 645,000, okay, I don't know who this person is, here's another one, 595,000, right, and, and here's little old 100, right, getting 75,000 views, okay, that's crazy, and so why am I bringing this up? Well, for those of you who already know, you, are, you already know. The best way to fight against anybody taking your crypto without, you know, the court getting involved and things like that is this right here. It's 100. If those guys, Okay, I'm just I'm just I'm just saying in general, right? Not not I don't agree with piracy sites. I don't agree with that stuff, but I don't know the facts. Okay? The bottom line, they haven't stopped it. I was around when Napster was like I was literally at the forefront of piracy. I was around with Napster and the US government went after went after Napster. Shut them down. And what happened? Did anything change? I was If something changed, Movie 2K would have never happened. Napster was like in the 90s. <laughs> that was before all of the, before YouTube, before everything. Right? So it hasn't changed anything. But, you know, I, I buy movies. Y'all know that about, I told you I got a large movie. I buy movies. I don't steal movies. I have friends that, you know, stealing music and, and move. I, I have never, ever done it. If I like your music, I pay for it. If I like the movie, obviously. There's time, and I'm about to do it again. I have gone to the movies to see a movie and like the movie so much when it comes out on, on uh, used to be DVD, when it comes out on digital, I buy the digital as well. I have done that several times. Okay? I'm just, I just believe in supporting people. Right? But when you're c 
convicted of something or whatever, arrested, you should have a court date. And you should go through the legal process. And get attorneys, get lawyers, right? And they be like, okay, you know, the, the judge says this, right? Let them decide. The only thing right now that I know of where at the user level, my man could have pro protected his billions by just buying 100. <laughs> because with 100, between every transaction, you got to wait at least 100 hours. The government couldn't take it if they wanted to. There is nothing they can do. Even the developers can't say, oh, well, we'll do this and get, nope, can't do that. If you lock up your hundred, it's locked up. And this is why, I've been mean, telling you, look at this, man, this is so early. This is stupid early. Look at the volume today, right? Hundred did the pre-sale for Avalanche. You had people just come in that just wanted to cash out and get their little 2X, or whatever you're gonna have people in crypto like that not think long term but if y'all don't see the value in this just and i don't i don't know if the developers even thought about okay you know it's gonna be for this purpose it's to fight scams right it's to fight bots that's why you don't see a lot of volume because there's no bots but now that we have these governments that are just, in my opinion, this is theft. If I did something with some movies and I sold some illegal movies, all right, then what is the cost of the movies? I will pay you the cost of the movie. We will go through the court. The, the judge will decide. They will look at the box office of the movies or whatever, right? They will look at the sales. They, they're charging this dude more then the movies made themselves <laughs> in terms of the DVD sales, the Blu-ray sales. They're, they're charging these dudes more. So now if you caught up in any situation, you know what? I don't know what's going to happen. Hey, I'm going to court. Da, da, da. All right. Hundred. Hey, I got a divorce. Coming up, you know, and, you know, we going through proceedings, da 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 da, -da. Y'all going to have to prove X, Y, Z. Okay, 100. This is huge, guys. This goes beyond a meme. And like I said, I, you know, I don't, I doubt if the, if the developers were thinking about this. I seriously doubt it. But that's what happens when you innovate. And that's why you don't worry about people not knowing about it. Here, th this is what tells you right here, right? When I showed you, did I lose it again? When I, when I showed you the, uh, how many views they were getting, this doesn't happen to regular meme coins. You don't get 75,000. That, it just doesn't happen. No, this is 75,000 views on the Bitcoin channel, not on their own channel. You don't get these kind of views on, on your own channel. This is the Bitcoin channel. Everybody is seeing this. To be honest, I don't know how it's possible to get this many views and, and not have, you know, at least 100, 200,000 in volume. But they see the image. They like the image. They recognize the image. Right? But they're not tying it to the crypto as yet. Or they're simply looking at metrics. Oh, well, I don't, you know, this is early. I don't, you know, I don't see millions of all. Guys, do y'all honestly think, think about the people that you talk to, whatever. Do you honestly think that every single day, People are trading and investing millions and millions worth of one particular meme coin, something that just came out two, three days ago. That's that's not normal. 
Those are not real people. It's not that many people trading meme, especially meme coins like that. Not 50, 60, 80, 100 million worth. In, in fact, let me do this real quick. You guys know about Bitcoin. The number one network for Bitcoin on chain is Binance. And yesterday on the number one exchange on Binance, there was $15 million of on-chain volume in Bitcoin. And trust me, that's one of the highest amounts that I've seen. $15 million. If you go to certain meme coins right now, you'll see 60, 70, 80 million. There's no way that those meme coins have more adoption than Bitcoin. And look at how many people. 357 people, 15 million in volume. Now, I, will, I know for a fact that a lot of these so-called people, these are exchanges. So when you look down here, you'll see, right, big movement of like 20,000. See, there's a 10,000 there, 11,000, right? And this is just simply there's 12,000, 7,000. These are exchange 33,000, 34,000. You see what I'm saying? These are exchanges doing what's called arbitrage. And so what happens is if an exchange sees the price on, you know, Coinbase and the price is higher on Coinbase and they're able to get that price for cheaper on chain, they'll buy it on PancakeSwap, send it to Coinbase and, and literally you might make 0.2%. But because you're moving so much, right, you'll actually make a little bit of profit. That's what's happening, right, a lot of times. But you see 357 makers. If you go to certain meme coins right now, right, I, I, I hate to even do this because this stuff is so disrespectful on here. But let's just see if I like, like, I don't even know what this is, okay? Here we go. Let's do we got volume on this? Yeah. Sprite. <laughs> McDonald's Sprite. All right. You're trying to tell me that McDonald's Sprite has 17,000 people trading it today with 96,000 in liquidity and 710,000 market cap. You're trying to tell me that there's been 173 transactions on Sprite. At 713,000 market cap and 97,000 liquidity. You're telling me more people around the world are trading Sprite than Bitcoin on the number one exchange that's connected to Binance. That's what y'all trying to tell me. Come on, man. Come on up. Y'all trying to tell me that? Seventeen thousand people are trading Sprite. One hundred and seventy-three thousand transactions for Sprite at seven hundred and ten thousand market cap, but only three hundred fifty-seven people. <laughs> That's how you know it's fake. They're using fake transactions. 100 is not. But when people look at, oh, man, it's only six people, man, it's only. Bro, that's, that's what it actually is for a meme coin that not a whole lot of people either know about or connecting or whatever. But as I just showed you, they're getting views. And this isn't the first time. This is the highest that I've ever seen. But this isn't the first time. This is the, the power that they have to do an announcement or something like that. When they release a new product or something like this is the power that they have. But because the market is down right now, because FUD, because whatever else, hey, is six people trading today, 2200. 
in volume. This is what you call an opportunity. You have something that has the ability to stop stuff like this. When they saw the police was coming or they knew they was coming or what, like, <laughs> hey, man, let me top up. Let me, <laughs> let me buy some hundred. Let me put, right, let me put this 24 million in hundred. And it's not going to take much volume to send this to all-time highs. And it's got one of the best utilities that I've ever seen for any crypto. This is the world that we live in now, guys. I'm telling you. So the use case for 100 and coins like it, which right now there's nothing else out there like it. So they have first mover advantage. The market is huge for stuff like this because as Bitcoin gets bigger and bigger, governments don't want to play fair. They're literally going back in time to steal your Bitcoin. They're literally, these people started in 2008. Satoshi was not even a known person. Bitcoin was not out. They're charging them for stuff that happened in 2008. The same as they did with Binance. They're going after Binance for stuff before FTX was even created. Because that's what they do. They don't play fair. They've never played fair. That's the whole reason why Bitcoin was created. The government allowed 2008 to happen. They passed the laws to allow the hedge funds to create all of that fake money and so on and so forth. And it pains me to see people just trading it like, oh, you know. Like it's gambling or something. That's not what it's for. That's why you got to hold on to Bitcoin. These dudes, real talk, they had to voluntarily send it. They couldn't just take it. They had to voluntarily send it. But now we all know, depending on where you're from, depending on who you are, depending on what country you in, you know they'll, they'll just take stuff. And now with 100, you have something to help you prevent any types of hacks, any types of scams, any type of theft, even when it's coming from law enforcement and the government and things like that. It's your boy BSG. I'm going to holler at y'all in the next video.